everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about dry brushing and its benefits and then I will show you how to do it. <laughs> Um, before I start talking about it, this is a dry brush that I am using. It is from, if I'm saying this right, Ace Vivi. Um, I'm not sure how to say that, but I basically just got it off of Amazon. Um, so I like this brush specifically because, first of all, it has a detachable handle, so you can just slide it in. Um, so if you need to reach like places like your legs or your back, then it has an awesome handle. But if you don't want the handle, then you can just put your hand through the strap and just dry brush that way. It also came with this little facial dry brush, so I really like using this on my face. Um, it was pretty inexpensive, so um, I just picked one inexpensive one off of Amazon, and that's what I've been using. I've been using this for a long time. So um, I'm gonna just keep it like this to kind of explain things to you. So the I'll first explain the benefits and then I'll show you how to use it. So the first big benefit of dry brushing is exfoliating the skin. When you dry brush, you're taking dead, whether it's your face or your legs, you're taking dead skin off of the face and then therefore it is allowing your face to breathe and um, just get rid of all that dead skin so it can eliminate toxins properly. Another thing that is really good with dry brushing is that it stimulates the lymphatic system and as you do it, you'll kind of feel like this like tingling sensation. Um, I don't know how to explain it, but it's basically feel like this tingling, sen tingling sensation on your arms, um, and that's because it's stim stimulating the lymphatic system. And the lymphatic system is um, the system that will basically eliminate toxins from the body via the skin. So um, it removes toxins from the body. And if, like I said, if you don't exfoliate, it's it makes its job harder because you have dead skin kind of blocking everything, and it can't release the toxins correctly. The third thing is that it reduces cellulite. Cellulite is, everyone basically has cellulite and um, it's caused by water retention, um, it's caused by extra fat, it's called by, or fluid retention, extra fat, um, a bunch of things. But basically when you dry brush, it helps to stimulate the cells, break down toxins and, um, that are beneath the skin um, and that might help reduce the appearance of cellulite. So. For me, um, I notice that there is definitely a decrease in cellulite with dry brushing, but I do work out a lot. So like during my pregnancy, I always get a lot of cellulite, but I did start working out after pregnancy, obviously. So I know working out has a lot to do with reducing cellulite as well. So um, I can't say this completely gets rid of it because I do work out so that I feel like the working out has a lot to do with it, but this definitely helps anyways. And another thing that it does is it unclogs your pores. So if you have the dead skin and bacteria and gunk just kind of clogging your pores, um, you're not gonna be able to absorb nutrients or anything like that. So if you dry brush and then you have fresh, you know, opened up and unclogged pores, when you apply like any facial creams or anything like that, it can absorb the nutrients like the vitamin E and hyaluronic acid or whatever you're putting on your skin. If you're putting creams and stuff on dead skin, the, dead, the skin is dead, so it's not absorbing anything. So just keep that in mind. Um, and then another thing is stress relief. Um, kind of like a massage. Honestly, when I do this, I feel so good after, and I make my husband um, sometimes help me too. And it's just, if you, I do it on my husband too, if he feels like there's like, um, like he needs nerve stimulation or something, I'll just kind of dry brush. It feels so good, and it really does help to reduce stress. So those are just some of the many benefits. And now I'm gonna show you how to, um, how to do it. So I have the parts here. I'll first show you the facial. So you wanna get a bristle brush. Let me just show you. Sorry, I don't really have many, many spots to put things down. So you wanna get a bristle brush with a long handle like the one I just showed you. Then you also kind of want a facial one. This is a little bit big for the face and you really wanna be exfoliating the face um, and just getting blood flowing to the face because it'll help you look younger, it'll give you fresher looking skin, it'll just a whole bunch of things. So, um, Here's this facial one here. I'll give you a close up. There's a little hair sticking out of it. So this is the one I have here. Um, I love this one. So like I said, you want something that's natural and you want something with good bra bristles or brushes, whatever you call it. Um, and then you want to, what I usually do is I'll just either sit on the bed, um, if I'm doing my legs, or you can sit in the bathtub or something like that. So you just want to start, um, find somewhere that you don't care where your dead skin goes if you a lot will come off depending on how dry your skin is um and do not wet the skin it has to be dry when you're doing this hence the name dry brushing um and then basically you're going to start at the bottom of your feet you're going to start at the bottom of your feet you're going to move in long sweeping motions towards your heart you always start um 
the furthest point from your heart and go towards your heart. Um, stroking away from your heart can cause ruptured vessels and varicose veins, so definitely avoid doing that. Um, and then you're going to want to brush each area several times. So let me just kind of demonstrate. Say I'm doing my arms. You'll kind of just start at your hands and just kind of go in long sweeping motions all the way towards your heart. And then again, and you can do that as many times as you feel that you have to. Um, and just keep, make sure you don't miss any spots. So just do it and ensure you're getting all the spots. Um, just don't be too rough because it can hurt. <laughs> Um, and I just, sorry, I am looking down because I do have all my steps down here and I don't want to just miss a step. So that's why I'm looking down. Um, so yeah, once you've brushed your entire body, then just, you can step in the shower and then just wash everything off. And then what the good thing about dry brushing is that once you're out of the shower and you completely dry, you can, um, your skin will be dry. So you can apply like an olive oil or a coconut. Coconut's my favorite. Also jojoba is great or an almond oil. Apply it to your whole body and because your skin will be um, completely exfoliated, it will absorb all that, all the nutrients and all the moisture from the oils and the creams, and you will feel like so rejuvenated and amazing. Um, so, what basically my favorite combo that I like to do is coconut oil, um, some rosehip um, essential oil. I also add a little bit of vitamin E and just apply that to my entire body, and it feels amazing. One more thing I want to say before I end this video is um, if you have stretch marks, if you're a mom and you have stretch marks, especially on your tummy, um, I dry brush my tummy. So start at the bottom and work your way up and I dry brush my tummy and then I apply the coconut oil and all of that stuff and I find that it really absorbs it and it helps with the stretch marks. It helps kind of fade the stretch marks. It helps them look healthier, like your skin around there look healthier and stuff. So you can do this while you're pregnant too. Um, I know everything too is pregnancy, like sometimes it, it can make you know stress the body basically because you have extra blood flow and increased blood volume things like that so by dry brushing you're stimulating you know the cells in your skin and it really is good for when you're pregnant too so um definitely do that like i said this is very inexpensive you want to make sure you get something with a long handle because you want to be able to do your back and stuff um very expensive i think it was like nine dollars maybe or something like that. I can leave a link in the description of the one I have. I'll leave it down below. Um, it's not, this video is not sponsored or anything like that. It's just, this is the one I've been using for a while and I like it. So I'll just share that down below if you're looking for one. Um, but there are so many benefits to dry brushing and I really recommend you guys give it a try. It really does feel good and your skin will be so much healthier and more glowing and um, yeah, and it's also good if you dry brush right before you go for, like before you go tanning because then your tan will actually last longer. If you're tanning dead skin, that skin will flake off eventually and there goes your tan. So another tip. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, subscribe down below to see loads more videos. Um, thank you for stopping by and I will see you in my next one. Bye.